This is genuinely by far the most surprising AI demo I've ever seen in my entire life. And you're about to see exactly why OpenAI's new humanoid robot in partnership with Figure is absolutely incredible. Take a look at the demo and then we can dive into all the technical details of how this really works. The first image that was tweeted by someone that works there, they said, let's break down this video. All behaviors are learned and not teleoperated and run at normal speed. One thing that you might not have known is that usually when robot demos have been done in the past, a lot of the times because robots are kind of slow and they have been slow in the past because making them fast is quite a difficult task, they have been sped up to just show you what the robot is capable of doing. However, this recent demo was all done in one time speed. That means what you saw wasn't sped up at all and everything was done in real time. Secondly, the tweet also states that all behaviors are learned and not teleoperated. Teleoperation is the process of using a human who is controlling the robot via a VR controller. It could be a VR headset and you use that movement and it's mapped onto the robot in a demo to show you what the robot is physically capable of. However, this is a robot that is working with an end-to-end -end neural network, meaning that 100% of the behavior of this robot is entirely autonomous. They also state that we feed images from the robot's cameras and transcribe text from speech captured by onboard microphones to a large multimodal model trained by OpenAI that understands both images and text. And the model processes the entire history of the conversation, including past images, to come up with language responses, which are spoken back by the human text-to-speech. The same model is responsible for deciding which learned closed-loop behavior to run on the robot to fulfill a given command, and loading a particular neural network weights onto the GPU, and executing a policy. So essentially, this AI system is able to recognize what's going on in the environment. Once it recognizes what's going on from the human speech, what it wants, it's then able to decide a policy from its library of existing policies of what it can then do, and then it's able to execute on that policy with its reasoning. So it's really, really, really really impressive because the image processing actually does have common sense reasoning. So the robot with its vision is able to make sense of its surrounding using the camera. So it doesn't just see images, it understands them in a way that it can reason about what is happening or what it needs to do next. And of course, one of the really, really cool features of this was the text-to-speech. The robot can respond to humans by converting the text that it outputs in terms of its reasoning into spoken words. So it can continue to carry on a conversation with a person. Now, one of the things that I really, really, really did like about the text-to-speech, and I really just want to talk on that really quickly, was how coherent this and how human this sounded. In fact, this sounded so human. Now, now most people, but let's continue into the technicals before we dive into some speculation. In addition, of course, one thing that they state here as well is that it is a whole body controller. And so the robot can move in a controlled, stable way, ensuring it doesn't topple over or make unsafe movements. And it's like having an inner sense of balance and understanding of how to move all of its body parts in har harmony. They also state that it has 200 hertz actions and one kilohertz joint torques. So the robot's actions are updated 200 times per second and the forces at its joints are updated a thousand times per second. Sure th this means that the robot can make very smooth and precise movements reacting quickly to changes and the whole system is designed to operate seamlessly so the robot can understand both the visual and spoken aspects of the environment and decide how to respond in both speech and action and execute these responses in real time without being controlled by a human at that time when it's being autonomous. One can now describe its surroundings, use common sense reasoning when making decisions. For example, the dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. And of course, translate ambiguous high-level requests from I'm hungry to some context-appropriate behavior, like hand the person an apple. And then of course, describe why it executed the particular action in plain English. For example, it was only the edible item that I could provide you with from the table. So I think right here, this demo of, you know, being able to hand someone an apple, it might seem pretty basic. But this does show us advanced reasoning capabilities because if someone says I'm hungry, you have to realize, okay, if this person is hungry, that means they want food. I have to scan the environment to look for any sources of you know, food. I see an apple. Then I can select the policy to hand that person an apple and then I have to grab the apple and then hand the person the apple. So it's common sense reasoning when making decisions, which is
is a key step up from what we've seen before, which means that this is another level. It's not just, you know, showing the dexterity and the fork of the robot. And I mean, the implications for this are really, really cool because now we have a robot that can make educated guesses about what should happen next based on what it sees. And for one, can now describe its surroundings, use common sense reasoning when making decisions. For example, the dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. And of course, translate ambiguous high level requests from I'm hungry to some context appropriate behavior like and the person and retrain model analyzing the conversations image and text history figure one quickly performs and carries out a plan place the cup on the drying rack and number two place the plate on the drying rack so essentially this tweet here is of course once again descri describing how the common sense reasoning works because with the memory it's able to you know realize what has happened before and then make educated guesses based on that here's and actions at 200 hertz actions and 24 degrees of freedom essentially in robotics this refers this 